Hello students, welcome to Sword of the Classics. Today our topic is Quantitative Aptitude and here some questions are given. We have to solve this question. So now let's start. Our first question is here a series is given and the last term of the series is missing. We have to find out this last term. And the series is 13, 16, 22, 33, 51 and let's denote this missing term as A. Now, here five options are given and we have to choose the correct one. So, let's solve this. Okay. So, the sequence is 13, 16, 22, 33, 51 and X. Now, the difference between these two is plus C. Again, the difference between these two is plus 6. Now, the difference between these two is plus 11. Difference between 51 and 33 is plus 18. And this pattern is, this is plus C. This is plus Again, this difference is plus 7. So, that means this must be plus 27 because here must be plus 9. So, again, this distance is plus 2. Difference between this is plus 2 and the difference between this is also plus 2. So, here this term must be 78 because uh, 51 plus 27. So, x is equal to 51 plus 27 that is is equals to 78 so this missing term x is equals to 78 that is option 2 so option 2 is the correct answer now let's go to our next question here again a series is given and in this series the last term is also missing and let's denote it as x okay now, the series is 39, 52, 78, 117, and 169. So, the pattern of the number series is 39 plus 1 into 13 is equal to 52. Now, 52 plus 2 into 13 is equals to 78 okay so we got this term 39 52 and 78 in this sequence now let's see if the next term is 117 or not now here must be 78 plus uh, this term is increasing that is 1 2 so here must be 3 into 13 Okay, so this is equals to 117. So, we have got the correct sequence. Now, um, in this pattern, 117 plus 4 into 13, the term is 169 and 169 plus 5 into 13 is equals to 234 and this is equals to x so here the next term after 169 is x that is equal to 234 so here option 3 that is 234 is the correct answer so the last term of this series is 234 now Let's go to the next question. Okay. 
Again, here is a series and the last term is missing. So, at first, let us denote this term as 8. And the series is 6287, 187, uh, 412, and 812. And then, the next term that we have to find out. Okay, so your five options are given. So, let us start. We can see that the difference between 87 and 62 is equal to 25 and this is equal to 5 square. That means 62 plus 5 square is equal to 87. Now, the difference between 87 and 187, so 187 and 87 is equal to 100 and this we can say as 10 square. So, we can see that 87 plus 10 square is equal to 187. Now, the next term that is 412 and okay the difference between 412 and 187 is equal to 225 that is equal to 15 square that means the terms are increasing in the pattern of 5 square 10 square 15 square. So, we can write it as 187 plus 15 square is equal to 412. Okay, I am doing the raise of the part here. Now, again, the difference between 812 and 412 is equal to 200 sorry 400 this is equal to 400 and this is equal to 20 square so we can write it as 412 plus 20 square is equal to 812 so uh, these terms are increasing uh, in the pattern of 5 square then 10 square then 15 square, then 20 square. Now, the last term must be 25 square. So, this must be 812 plus 25 square. That is equal to 812 plus 625. That is equal to 1437. So, this is the missing term, term and this is equals to x. So, x is equals to 1437 that is equals to option 2. So, option 2 is the correct answer. Okay. Now, let's go to our next question. Okay. Uh, let's read the question. A can contains it can contains a mixture of two liquids A and B. So, in the can, two types of liquids are there, uh, liquid A and liquid B. Now, in the ratio, they are in the ratio of 7 is to 5. So, the ratio of uh, liquid A and liquid B is given that is 7 is to 5. Now, when a liter of mixture are drawn off and the can is filled with B, so a liter of mixture is drawn off from the can and it is filled with uh, liquid B. Then the ratio of A and B becomes 7 is to 9. Now we have to find out how many liters of liquid A was uh, contained by the can initially. So, let us start. Okay. So, suppose initially Suppose, initially,
the can contains the can contains seven eggs and five eggs liters of mixture of mixture A and B because the ratio here was given at the first that is 7 is to 5. Now, now the quantity of A, the quantity, quantity of A in the mixture left, in the mixture left, is equals to 5x okay this is 7x because the amount of a was 7x so this is 7x minus 7 by 12 into 9 that is equals to 7x minus 21 by 4 liter. Now, the quantity of B, the quantity of B um, in the mixture left, in the mixture left, is equals to 5x into 5x minus 5x 5 into 9 by 12 now this is equals to liter now this is equals to 5x minus 15 by 4 liter so now uh, we can say that this ratio that is 7x minus 21 by 4 divided by 5x minus 15 by 4 is equals to 7 by 9. And by solving this, we can say that a is equals to 3. So, the can contained 21 liter of a because 7x is equals to 7 into 3 that is equals to 21 liter so option 3 that is 21 is the correct answer so uh, 21 liter of liquid a was contained by the can initially so option 3 is the correct answer